example 1 for a rectangular plane surface of base B and height H and with one side in contact with the liquid and the top edge flush with the liquid surface, develop expressions for the force or total pressure, the location of the center of pressure where this force acts, uh, it's sub CP from the liquid surface, and the moment of this force with respect to the vertical line through its leftmost point and with respect to the bottom. So in this problem, I'll derive all the expressions in all available mathematical tools and only in this problem so that uh, you can also do it in your in other examples but in the other examples I use the formula which I develop or derive in the lecture video on fluid pressure on plane and curved surfaces principles on fluid pressure on plane and curved surfaces so you better watch that uh, video because everything is discussed and derived in that lecture video but you can also follow here so everything is presented so this is rectangular flush with the liquid surface dimensions b and h and this is the centroid of area this is the center of pressure where the force acts the projected vertical surface then Bard H is H over 2, of course, location of the centroid from the top. Then I'll call this H sub CP, distance between centroid and center of pressure as E. At the center of pressure acts the force because some of you are still asking why the force is acting at the center of pressure, not at the centroid. Of course, it acts at the center of pressure. That's why this is called the centroid of pressure, not the centroid of area. This is where the force acts, or the total pressure acts. The centroid of the, the pressure diagram. So this is the pressure diagram. Zero at the top, exposed to the atmosphere, then maximum at the bottom. Uh, gamma times H, the maximum intensity of pressure. So at the level of this differential area, because we are going to solve this by integration first at distance y, the intensity of pressure is specific weight times distance vertical height y. So the pressure there is uniform, constant, equal to uh, specific weight times y. That's the intensity of pressure. And it is constant because it acts over this area with elements, differential area with elements equidistant from the liquid surface, which is y. That's why it's constant. Then this is the total pressure or the force. The other term is total pressure. That's the force. It acts at the center of pressure. So obviously, F acts at the centroid of this triangle, which is two-thirds of H. This is known, actually, if you use the pressure diagram without integrating. But we will show by integration because that's the first. And secondly, if the area is not rectangular, it will be different. You cannot locate the center of pressure easily. So the differential force is pressure at this level times differential area dA. So pressure dA, that's the differential force. Remember, constant pressure is the ratio of differential force over differential area, the area should be small for pressure to be uniform. So beginning with this formula, dF equals pressure dA, and pressure is gamma times y. So dA is base times thickness dy of the strip. Then we have dF equals gamma b y dy. Integrating integral of df equals gamma b integral of y dy from 0 to h. Limits for y is from 0 to h. So we have f equals gamma b y square over 2 from 0 to h. So that would be gamma b h square, quantity h square over 2 minus 0 because lower limit is 0. So therefore we have derived the expressions for expression for f gamma b h square over 2. So that is by integration. 
and I will not use this anymore late in the succeeding uh, problem where I use the formula. So we use the formula which I derived in my lecture video, which is specific weight barred H area. Where barred H is H over 2 and area is area of the rectangle which is BH. So gamma H over 2 BH. So the result if you simplify that is equal to that. So as, as simple as that. But if the area is very complicated and you are not familiar with the location of the centroid or not familiar with the moment of inertia, you better use the integral form or the differential form first. Then, next is by volume of pressure diagram. The volume of the pressure diagram is, this is the intensity of pressure at the bottom is specific weight times vertical distance h. So, it is just area of this triangle times width perpendicular to the board, which is b perpendicular to the screen. So this is a triangular wedge. So the volume is area of triangle times width perpendicular to the board, which is b. The area of the triangle is one half gamma h times height h, and the width perpendicular to the board b. So if you simplify that, that's also gamma b h square over two. As simple as that. If the pressure diagram is known and you can compute the volume easily, especially for rectangular sections, but for other sections, it's difficult to use the volume diagram. You use the formula instead. Then by Varignon's theorem, let's derive H sub CP. Moment of F about the top is F times H sub CP equals sum of moments of its components. One component is DF. And its moment arm is y. So f h sub cp equals df integral of df times y because this is in the integral form, differential form df. Substituting the value of f which is gamma b h square over 2 h sub cp and in substituting the value of df which is gamma b y dy then times y. We can cancel gamma b so we have h square h, h square over 2 h sub cp equals integral of y square dy from 0 to h. The integral of y square dy is y cube over 3. So h square over 2 h sub cp equals y cube over 3 from 0 to h, which simplifies to the right side h cube over 3. So cancel h square 2 thirds of h over 3. h sub cp is 2 thirds of h. If you use the formula, we have formula for E, which is I sub CG over area bar H, where I sub CG is moment of inertia of rectangle with respect to its centroidal axis here, which is BH cube over 12. Then divided by area of rectangle, which is BH bar H, H over 2. So that would be 2 cancel bh square so 2h over 12 is h over 6 therefore from the figure h sub cp is h over 2 plus e h over 2 plus h over 6 e is h over 6 so that is also 2 thirds of h and the uh, easiest one to locate h sub cp is using this full pressure diagram where is the centroid of a triangle it is two thirds of the height. So obviously, two h sub cp is two thirds of h. One third of h from the bottom, two thirds of h from the top. So the easiest way is the pressure diagram, actually. Then lastly, the moment of the force about the leftmost point or the leftmost edge, since the plane is symmetric with respect to the vertical axis, the centroid and the center of pressure coincide on this vertical axis of symmetry. So that is B over 2. So the moment is F gamma BH square over 2 times B over 2. Or with respect to the rightmost point, it's the same. So therefore, moment about the left is gamma B square H square over 4. Do not memorize. Use the principle. You can develop these expressions by your own. Then, 
F x through center of pressure. The distance of center of pressure from the bottom is H over 3 because H sub CP is 2 thirds of H. So moment about the bottom is gamma B H square over 2 times H over 3. And that is gamma B H cube over 6. So that's it for this problem. The next one should be shorter.